So periodontal disease is an is a infection, as we know, and that infection is a complicated one. Uh, so what do we know about the bacteria that are uh, implicated in periodontal diseases? Well, what, what has changed in the recent years is that we understand now better how the, these bacteria are arranged. They are arranged in something called biofilms, which are very complex structure that allows the bacteria to be more, pathogen more pathogenic, to survive better to the treatment. So the implication of this change is enormous. And it is still evolving because we don't know many things about biofilm. And maybe science in the future years will help us to understand better biofilms and to be able to treat them, uh, the infections associated to the biofilm in a better way. So do you think that those biofilms, we will have different approaches in the future in order to fight these biofilms? I'm sure, I'm sure that that will occur. The better we understand the biofilm structure, the, best, the better treatments we will be able to provide to our patients. And that will happen very soon. So we will be able to provide different, completely different strategies to the ones that we, we are using now. So one of these novel approaches in fighting biofilms could be actually to uh, use some good bacteria? Yes, for sure. Over the recent years we understood that the biofilm becomes pathogenic by something which is called dysbiosis, meaning that some pathogens are overgrowing. And recent data show that by maybe by adding good bacteria or by promoting bacteria, good bacteria that are already in the biofilm, and, and this is a concept we call prebiotics now, we could try to modify or modulate the biofilm which is, is present and maybe we don't have to remove the biofilm but just by modulating them we can bring it to a, into a state of homeostasis. And this might impact, I think, general health also. But I don't know how, how imp impactful this could be. Um, well, the truth is that those bacteria, um, they have been found in other places in the body, not just in, in the mouth. So we um, have found those bacteria in our blood vessels, in the atheromatous plaques. We have found these bacteria in other organs. We have found these bacteria even in the uh, fetal placental unit in pregnant women. And actually this has been associated in some cases with pregnancy complications. So, but what, what are the implications of that? I mean, okay, this bacteria living in those biofilms, in the mouth, they travel around the body, but is, is that something bad for the, for the systemic health? Well, we, we don't exactly know the, the role of these bacteria in those different sites in the body, but we, what we know and we have evidence on is that there is association between periodontal infections and periodontal disease with other systemic conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, pregnancy complications that we mentioned before, but there are other emerging uh, conditions like rheumatoid arthritis uh, and even cancer in some cases. Preliminary data associating these things. How do you see then this, that this knowledge will have an impact on, on the community and, and on, on the policymakers? How should, should that go then? Well, if, uh, if we can actually be able to show that periodontal therapy can actually affect not just the uh, periodontium, but also can uh, maybe have benefit in those other systemic conditions, then that may actually have a big effect on policy making and in public health in general. So I see that fighting against the biofilms that are causing the diseases in the mouth, such as periodontal disease, it may not only be important for oral health, it may be also relevant for systemic health. Is that what, you, what you're saying? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. There's still a lot of work to be done in order to reach to that conclusion, but I think that's why we have an exciting future ahead of us.